hello everyone and welcome back to this channel welcome back if you're old and welcome if you're new my name is Chantal and always I bring to you God's Word so you're welcome to this channel I bring to you prophetic words also from our Father in heaven according to how the Holy Spirit gives them to me so I welcome you once more in the name of the Lord welcome back to this channel and welcome if you're new and um, thank God for this day thank God for this week thank God it's a new start a fresh start in the name of Jesus and I'm glad you know to come back here and be able you know to have you here with me because it is a privilege you know by the grace of god we thank god for the gift of life if we can always come back or wake up in the morning and we are alive strong and healthy it is by his grace and so we give him all the glory just for that hallelujah and so the lord has given us a word and it's also going to be a beautiful word today it's really going to be beautiful hallelujah so when he gave me this word i woke up this morning and i was really peaceful i felt this peace deep inside of me so um i just knew that you you know this is what the lord is planning to do even to someone hallelujah and this word is actually for someone um the lord is planning to do this you know in your life today this week in the name of jesus because it is gonna happen you know not long from now hallelujah and um before we move forward please this word is not for everyone just for disclaimers it's not for everyone do take it to the lord in prayers get a clear confirmation from him you know he's gonna let you know if this is your word and um if you believe it's your word definitely even as i release this word the spirit of god is also gonna you know receive this word you know it's gonna really help you to know it's gonna align you you are definitely gonna be able to align with this word and um it's gonna resonate with your spirit hallelujah and also do not forget to tell the spirit behind this word so let's just move forward with the word and let's pray father we thank you for this day we thank you for this word we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you, O oh Lord, for helping us to come here, O oh Father, to be able to share your word. We give you all the glory. We ask, O oh Lord, that let your presence keep gracing us and gracing, O oh God, everything that we do and even this word that we are about to release. Father, take total control. Have your way. You've been speaking through us. Father, you've been with us. You've been guiding us. You've been helping us. We pray that even as we release this word, you will continue to do the same in the the name of Jesus we ask you oh father to be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus and oh God we ask oh Lord that even the people that are about to receive this word the people that this word is for oh Lord may they receive it just the way you are sending it just the way you want them to receive it in the name of Jesus and as they receive this word Lord let it bring light to them in the mighty name of Jesus amen and amen and amen Amen. Thank you, Lord, and we seal this word with the precious blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. So, um, the Lord spoke to me this morning. Actually, in my sleep, he, he spoke this word to me, and this was a word that woke me up this morning. Hallelujah. I woke up this morning. Immediately, the Lord gave this word to me, and I woke up shouting, amen, to this word. Hallelujah. So, the Lord spoke to me. He said, a heavy relief is coming. He said, a heavy relief is coming and i woke up saying amen hallelujah amen like i heard it so loud it came like a loud voice in my sleep and i woke up immediately and i said amen to this word and immediately i knew that this is the word that the lord is sending to someone this is the word that the lord has for us this week this is something that the lord wants to do this week and i'm definitely going to be explaining all of that to us and also i had a dream you know concerning this word also i had a dream last night and it was from that dream actually that i would say that a voice spoke to me in a very loud way saying that a heavy relief is coming this is not going to be a light one a heavy relief is coming it is coming in the name of Jesus amen and amen and amen so the Lord gave me a word um, a scripture for this word I'll just read that real quick with us before we can move forward and the scripture is from Psalms chapter 126 I'll read verse 1 I'll be reading from verse 1 it says <clears throat> when the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion we were like those who dream hallelujah then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then they said amongst themselves or among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them hallelujah the lord has done great things for them the lord has done great things for them and we are glad 
Verse 4 says, Bring back our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. He who continually goes forth weeping, bearing seed for sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, um, actually, this word is from um, Psalms 126 that says, When the Lord brought back again the captivity of Zion, you know when um you are you are you are in a captivity situation like you're being held captive or you're in a prison or something like that when you feel stuck you know you feel locked somehow there is no peace all what you feel inside is is is, is heaviness is heaviness sad like you just feel sad you know there is sorrow but the bible says that when the lord brought back the captivity of zion zion was taken captive for they were held captive in babylon for years hallelujah for a long time and the lord turned that around he brought back their captivity he brought back their freedom he brought back their peace hallelujah he took away that burden from them he took them out of that prison situation and this is what the lord is saying to someone right now this is what the lord is speaking to someone right now i'm bringing back your freedom i'm taking you away from that captivity situation and you are definitely receiving a heavy relief right now in the name of jesus when a relief comes it comes with peace it comes with freedom from something hallelujah you being freed from something the lord made me to understand that some of us have been um, um, so stressed up like we've been going through so much stress so much pain hallelujah challenges and um there is something like for someone there is something just like this particular something that just keeps bringing you know um, um issues to you pain in your heart hurt there is this one thing just this one thing that just keeps disturbing you you know bringing in a lot of problems issues to you but the lord is bringing a relief to you right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus when the lord is bringing a relief it is because something is going on something is actually weighing you down you know and he said a heavy relief if you're being relief of something it is because that thing was weighing you down it is because the thing was weighing you down or the thing was actually heavy on you or something hallelujah and now the Lord is coming in to bring his relief in the name of Jesus so this is what he spoke to me and um, he um, in the dream that I had last night I was with someone and all we kept on talking about you know were problems issues you know issues problems and um we just kept on talking about those things and we forgot actually that there was there was something that we had to do like we had to do something uh, we had to go somewhere actually but then because of the issues that we had the things we were talking about we just stayed on a particular spot and we're not even able to go to where we're supposed to go to on time on time we just kept discussing about kept on discussing about those things and even got to a point where you know we were weeping because of all of those things hallelujah but the lord spoke to me while in my sleep he spoke to me he said a heavy relief is coming a heavy relief is coming hallelujah a heavy relief is coming in the name of jesus god is giving you a relief from that situation God is giving you a relief. I just feel this so strong in my heart, in my spirit also. He's taking that challenge away so you can have your peace, so you can have your, your, your freedom, hallelujah, so that you can be light again. You can feel lighter, hallelujah, because it has weighed you down for so long and it has kept you from going to a particular place, you know, somewhere that the Lord would have loved for you to go to on time. But because of that challenge, because of that burden, you have not been able to go there you have not been able to do the things that you were supposed to do hallelujah and the lord spoke this to me you know i believe this is for someone it has to do with debts you know the settlement of debts the lord is definitely gonna settle those debts for you that is how your relief will come that is how your relief will come it's gonna come in the form of settlement like god is gonna help you or it's gonna take you out of those debts supernaturally and that is how your relief will come you know because um that that, that that was where your burden was hallelujah Hallelujah. Or that is where your burden was. Hallelujah. And for some of us, your relief is going to come by God answering your prayers. Answering your prayers. 
you know by him answering you and it's gonna be this week or not long from now hallelujah you know the lord is gonna do it this week or not long from now because when the voice came to me it was just so like it sounded like it was gonna happen instantly a heavy relief is coming hallelujah and i felt like it has it had come already and so the lord um, is going to be doing it for us or for some of us by answering your prayers there's a prayer that you've been making to the lord and that prayer has become like a burden in your heart something that is like you know it's bothering you it's bothering you and it's making you to be heavy and the lord is going to answer those prayers so that you can be free you can have your peace so that you can experience a relief from that situation in the name of jesus in the name of jesus and for someone um i just got this right now in my spirit i feel like you are in a situation also and um the lord needs to turn things around in that situation that you are right now Things need to turn around. I don't know how it's going to be, but you need a turn around. You need a complete turn around. Hallelujah. As this week has begun, you know, um, with fresh grace, fresh anointing, fresh release, let them also, let there also be a turn around for you in the name of Jesus. By his mercy, let there be a turn around. Let there be a turn around in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, um, the Bible says in Psalms, um, Psalms chapter 119, I'll be reading from verse 130, 130, it says the entrance of your word gives life, light, hallelujah, it gives understanding to the simple, the entrance of God's word gives light, hallelujah, as the word of God is entering into your life, it is coming with light, it is coming with light, and when light comes, there is no way darkness can stand, hallelujah, whenever there is darkness and you turn on the light, the darkness disappears, that is what the Lord is doing for us this weekend. In the name of Jesus, His light is coming to us through His Word to bring um, 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 a, a heavy relief and to take away that dark situation. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, and I'm gonna read to us the last verse for today, and it's in Psalms chapter 125. It says, um, "Those who trust in the Lord," I'm reading from verse one. "Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved." but abides forever and verse 2 says as a mountain surrounds jerusalem so the lord surrounds his people from this time forth and forever hallelujah and forever if you want um i'll link the psalms to you psalms 125 is very very good psalms 126 also the first psalms that we read psalms 127 psalms 121 um psalms 120 psalms 119 hallelujah th th these psalms are very close to each other um you can just be reading the psalms because they are very 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 good and they speak to us the promises of god and they are very encouraging too so it says here that those who trust in the lord are like mount Zion that cannot be moved hallelujah that is when your trust is in the lord and not in the things that are going on around you or on man or anything but when you're trusting in the lord when you trust in his word you are going to be like mount zion that cannot be moved and he says that as a mountain surrounds jerusalem so the lord surrounds his people um, from this time forth and forever hallelujah so the lord is surrounding us as the mountain surrounds jerusalem the lord is shielding us from all the weapons or all the troubles that the enemies always bring the lord is shielding us definitely um from those things and the reason why i'm reading this word to us right now is because the lord wants us to know that he has us covered hallelujah he has us covered he has you covered and as you have placed your trust in the lord you are definitely not gonna be moved you will not be moved hallelujah rather the lord is going to move everything that is around you that is not of him hallelujah and he's going to place a hedge of protection around you around you and your family in the name of jesus and as he brings this relief upon you you are definitely going to experience a new atmosphere of peace of healing of freedom you know of freedom hallelujah so a relief is coming to you right now 
things that you've been um you know things that have been weighing you down the lord is promising to take those things away from you in the name of jesus that is the word that he gave to me but um before we go please i just want us to pray for this week like we always do um let's just pray and give this week back to the lord as he's giving it to us so let's just pray um bow down our heads and make some declarations for this week we are praying. Father, we thank you once more, O oh Lord, for your word. We thank you for this word that has come forward. We thank you for what you are going to be doing in our lives, for what you've promised to us. And your promises are yea and amen. Whenever you say something, Father, you do it. Because you are not a man that you should lie or the son of man that you should repent. And so we know that these words that you've given to us, Father, the promises that you've told us, Father, have come to pass in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray and commit this week into your mighty hands. We decree that this week that you given to us is a blessed one in the name of jesus we decree that this week oh father we are not going to be moving with burdens trials challenges because that is not our portion jesus carried all those on the cross so that we can be free so that we can be made whole so that we can become lighter again so that we can run without those things father we pray and decree that even as your word has come forward speaking to us about the heavy relief coming to us that is going to be our portion this week in the name of jesus we are walking free from all the challenges that we, we, um, that have been tied around us we are walking free from troubles from trials uh, in the name of jesus every unnecessary burden lord every unnecessary burden every ungodly worries everything that is not of you lord in our lives bringing hurt pain shame weighing us down father by reason of your word we decree that they are taken away in the name of jesus and we have been made freed your word says in psalms 126 that when the lord brought back the captivity of zion they were like them that dreamt it is going to happen to us or it's going to come to us as a dream in the name of jesus that you will take away oh lord our captivities you will deliver us from every snare your word says that as a bird we have a escapes from the snare of the fowler that is our portion this week in the name of jesus every prison that has been holding us for so long by the power of your word that has come forward today we decree that we are free our freedom has come in the name of jesus we have been relieved of those things in the name of jesus we receive your peace we receive your peace. We receive your peace in the name of Jesus. Your peace is coming into our hearts. Your peace is coming into our family members. Your peace is coming into our loved ones. Your peace is coming into this world in the name of Jesus. We receive that peace today and forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver us, O oh Lord, from what we are going through right now that is weighing us. Bring that relief to us, O oh God. Set us free in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. We give you all the glory, Lord. We bless your holy name. We thank you, O oh Lord, for we are coming back with testimonies, not for the glory of man, but so that you will be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Father. We know it is done in our lives. Father, by faith, we receive these things and we know it is settled in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you very much. Thank you always for watching. Thank you for coming back always. God bless you. I love you so much and may his face keep shining upon you. Please, um, I have an important announcement to make. The Lord just laid this so strong in my heart, you know, um, to kind of like do a prayer, like to start up like a prayer um, session. Um, but this is going to be, especially as this year is coming to an end, hallelujah. And um, I'm believing God by his grace that we can, we are going to be doing it for like 21 days, you know, um, by his grace. So please help me to pray about it. The Lord is laying it so strong in my heart that there are things that he wants to release to us, but he wants us to come together in agreement, hallelujah, to pray, to come on together and pray to him. And and receive these things and so he has already started giving me some prayer points um i've written them down and we are going to be taking those prayer points and also as the lord um you know as he wills whenever he also speaks a word when he releases a word as we pray i'm definitely going to release that word to us also in the name of jesus we are going to move as the spirit guides us we are going to move as the spirit leads us but um 
I believe that um, this is something that the Lord has given to me and he really wants us to go ahead and do this as we prepare for a new year. Hallelujah. So definitely I'm going to be starting that tomorrow by his grace. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be coming on live just, you know, shortly just to pray with us. And if you have some prayer points that you want to give, please do share them so that we can take those prayer points. Coming together is always very powerful. The Bible says when two or more are gathered, hallelujah, I am in their midst. There is always power in gathering you know it says one which is a thousand two which is ten thousands hallelujah we are also going to be doing warfare prayers so this is something that the lord has laid in my spirit and please um i will let you know the time i think it's going to be 12 my time but i will let you know the time and you know, I pray that the Lord is also going to give you the chance to be able to join me as I come online so we can pray together and end this year well and prepare for the start or the beginning of a new year, the year 2021, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Love you and I do hope to see you in my next video. Bye.